Princess Catherine stunned in a long black coat with belt from Hobbs as the Princess of Wales visited Column Manor Children's Centre, in West London, where she was greeted by workers and members of the institution. Catherine appeared in good spirits as she arrived at Column Manor Children's Centre, where she is set to learn more about maternal mental health and speak with staff who have helped vulnerable mothers in the community. The Royal Ronda Smart 369 British Pounds Dark Olive Coat from Hobbs for the occasion, which she paired with a 36 British Pounds Cocky Dress from Mango, her 625 British Pounds Jimmy Choo Bag. The Princess of Wales kept her hair loose and sported a pair Kiki Classic Citroen Pear Dropper Rings in Yellow Gold, which retail for 550 British Pounds. The Royal has worn the yellow earrings for at least 40 official engagements since 2009 making Kiki McDonough her most worn jewellery designer. Fashion and royal expert Miranda Holder commented a monochromatic outfit is Kate's signature style. The princess swept her hair into her usual bouncy blow-dry style, and opted for a neutral makeup look, with a touch of blusher and a little eyeliner for the occasion. The coat, the Laurie Wool Cashmere Blend Belted Long Coat and Olive from the high street retailer Hobbs, is described online as inspired by military design and is a timeless piece. The royal, who is known for her love of high street brands, paired the trendy coat with a comfortable cocky green knit dress from Mango. The brand is one which she has worn a number of times in the past, while she also occasionally dresses her children in the label. Royal Fang commented on social media, Lovely to see Kate Middleton wearing her citron earrings again today. I love the green on her love the clutch, but now that she's one step closer to being queen all we've seen her in her long coats. The Royal is a patron of the Maternal Mental Health Alliance and attended the event to highlight the impact an integrated, multidisciplinary system and holistic care can have for families impacted by mental health issues. The mother of three, who has focused on early years support and mental health in her royal career, showed off her maternal side as she chatted to young mothers and their babies at the center. Kensington Palace said in a statement, the MMHA brings the perinatal mental health community together and makes change happen by combining the power of real life experience with clinical and professional expertise. Earlier this year she sent a message on social media after being named patron of the institution. Kate said, there is plenty more to be done. And it's down to each and every one of us to support parents and carers, and all those who are raising children today. Outside, she crouched down on the ground as she chatted to one little boy, Akeem, three, who asked the princess her name, before she offered him her flower. After removing the pin, she gave him the little tribute, telling him it was to remember all the soldiers who died in the war. Princess Kate joined the mother and baby group during the royal outing, chatting with moms who benefited from the integrated care system. Parents supported by two MMHA member groups, Home Start and Birth Companions, were also present. Both a charity and network, the MMHA is comprised of 120 organizations working to ensure that women, babies and families experiencing perinatal mental health problems receive the care and support they need. Kate's patronage weaves two of her main charitable focuses, mental health and the importance of early childhood development.